Good afternoon on the Empty Skull Ranch. I have a quick one for you guys, honestly. I'm not going to take up your whole afternoon, but ooh, there's a ghostly light coming from in there. Anyway, this is a little quick video, and it's covering magazines. Yes, magazines, one of the most integral parts of your box-fed rifle. So, if one of those should fail at a critical moment, it's not quite advantageous now, is it? So now you've just turned your uh, tactical advantage or um, your um, firepower advantage into a disadvantage because you're scrambling for another mag or... Uh, let's hope it doesn't come down to that, but... <laughs> But anyhow, one thing I wanted to touch on was a brand that I, I'd say, yeah, I like them a lot. I've had um, Mission First Tactical mags for quite some time now. And, um, you know, because I just, they were inexpensive and uh, they seem to get the job done. But one thing I've noticed in uh, times lately is that the, the uh, catch on the uh, mag release is a little lacking. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. So, allow me to demonstrate with this guy. I don't think you guys have seen this rifle yet, but this is one of my creations, what I put together, uh, I don't know, about a year or so ago. It runs pretty good. It's a nice running rifle. It's uh, got the fluted stainless barrel, one and eight twist, and it's got the the uh, regular mill spec bolt in it, you know, nothing fancy, run-of-the-mill receiver, got your six-position stock, and yes, the ever-going debate on key mod and M-Lock. I just happened to choose the key mod one for this one because, I don't know, the length was right, the feel was right, and I just blame one of the key mod. I like M-Lock, I like key mod. I'm not a fanboy of either one of them, but if there's the attachments for it and it works, I'm going to use it. Plain and simple. Whatever works is what I use. So, although each one of them does have its advantages and disadvantages. But let's get back to the point of the video being magazine and the, uh, here's a Mission First Tactical mag. I have a bunch of these mags and, uh, I just, I think they're a good all around mag. I mean, it's, uh, it's, um, I mean, on the, on the more economy end of things, but this is what I'm talking about. You go snap your mag in and, oh, what's that? So you go positive lock, comes back out. Now, even if I lock this to the rear, so we got an open chamber, so it doesn't have the resistance of the bolt in the way, which would be minimal in this case, because we're not loaded. But, now that should be, give it a tap, rack and reassess. So, <laughs> what's that, still coming up. So, just to prove that it's not just a failure on the uh, rifle itself, that's in there. So, Anyhow, there is a light at the end of the tunnel, though. I did notice the other day when I was in the shop looking around for accessories and accoutrements that they came out with a new mag. Ta-da! Yes, this guy right here, MFT, Mission First Tactical. So, see the same little logo that their uh, prior mag had, but different looking bag that they're coming in, and... Uh, different looking mag.
And I figured, you know what? Let me give this guy a shot. I'm gonna bring it out to the ranch and see how it runs. So let's put this guy right here. And first impressions, a little bit more weighty, which is good. Get on with that out of the way. Get on it, here. A little bit more weighty. I notice it's a little bit more full in the hand. And if we do a side-by-side -side comparison with this guy, listen to the difference in the sound. Overall, all right, anyway, you get the point. <laughs> all right, so I've noticed that it's a little bit more rugged. It doesn't squeeze as much like this one. It's uh, a lot more rigid. And uh, I noticed that their uh, polymer is a little bit different. It's 50% uh, stronger, three times more impact resistant. So, I mean, I know that's jargon on a package and all that, and I don't want to just regurgitate what they have written on the bag. Because after all, it's in the field that it's proven. One can talk a big game, but if you can't back it up, it doesn't mount to a hill of beans now, does it? So, one thing I did notice right off the cuff is right here, their mag release, it's deeper. The well is deeper. Now, upon further appraisal, I was wondering, do I need to alter my rifle? Do I need to look at that mag catch? But for the, uh, just, I noticed right off the cuff though that this well is kind of shallow on these ones. I mean, it's got a decent high bump stop on the end of it. But the well itself, if you can notice that, it is a little deeper on their new design. I know it's kind of poor lighting in here today. I apologize for that. But I got those vintage Edison style bulbs just because I like the way they look with the little squiggly line. Anyway, but so that right off the cuff is a big difference. The depth of that, that little pit is a lot better. The height on the stop is a little bit higher as well. But same anti-tilt follower. Boy, that's smooth. They're both pretty smooth, but that is a nice... One thing they do really good is their followers are very smooth. I haven't found one that hangs up on me yet. But a little bit of a redesign in the uh, outward appearance too. A little bit of a, uh, you know, stipling or whatever you want to call that right here on the, uh, the pull your mag out and all that. Definitely beefier in the hand though. I do like the way it feels. Now I... I wasn't mad at the design of the old one, but you know, they did kind of revamp it and bring it into uh, 2023 a little bit, even though I bought this in 2022. But anyway, I, you know, we're not gonna get into that. But either way, there she is. I think that's gonna be a good line. I think, uh, I think they made some positive changes. And uh, more importantly, I'm guessing that they're listening to the customer, which is a, which is a positive thing in my eyes, you know, cause that's, if I was to make a product, I'd like to listen to what the consumer has to say about it. But without further ado, let's throw this guy in the magwell and check out its retention. Much more, uh, I noticed that the fit in there doesn't wobble that much. That's a, that's a nice feature. Now, go to hit your mag release, there it comes. But that's in there like the dickens. That's not moving anywhere. And we can even try it with the bolt forward. So that thing is not going anywhere. So hopefully the stronger polymer that they're making this out of is going to be a long run type of thing where it's not going to wear out. But I don't think that this was a wear issue on that because it doesn't. This mag wasn't overly abused, you know. It's it's not one of the uh, higher use mags that I have, because I uh, just don't really notice a lot of wear marks on it. I think it was just plain old design, you know. So each each uh, magazine catch is a little different. Some are deeper, some are uh, some have a different profile on it. Just like trigger sears, they're all different. But I do like that it releases nice and smoothly. Good move. Real cool cat. Definitely a good move. Now, I hope you all didn't think that I was gonna let you go without at least trying to fire a few rounds out of this guy. The 
new mission first tactical positive retention in your receiver mag all right let's see what we got oh yeah that fits nice real nice all right what do we got on yonder and i'm gonna try out this msr and see how oh yeah she shows up beautifully in this all righty So anyway, good on them. I like the uh, I like the changes. I look forward to using these. And uh, next time I go to the gun shop, I'm gonna pick up a few more of these guys because uh, so far I'm impressed with them, and I do enjoy uh, a good mag, you know, <laughs> especially one that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. These day and age, you definitely gotta watch out for that. But anyway, and of course the spurs, the age old, well, I don't want to say age old because it wasn't, it wasn't a question when Moses was around, but uh, anyway, speaking of, um, just the whole, why do you need a 30 round mag in the first place? Well, you know, why shouldn't you give you and your family the best protection possible, the best tactical advantage that you could possibly give? So, you know, criminals, they don't care about gun laws. They don't. They don't. I know there's a lot of videos out there. There's a lot of heated videos out there about this debate. So that's why I don't want to get too far into it. I try not to politicize my channel because I know that's a sore subject for a lot of people. My aim is just to go out, shoot some guns, maybe do some blacksmithing projects and uh, just have a good old time. That's what the ranch is all about. But touching upon, just a quick delve into why I think. 30 round mags are not overkill. They're not superfluous. They, uh, it's, and it comes down to, it's just your second amendment, right? So wouldn't you want to give your family the best that you can give? Let's say, you know, I know this is a farcical, uh, scenario and something that may not happen tomorrow may never happen. God willing, but criminals don't care about you. Criminals don't care about your goodwill. They don't care about how you feel. They don't care about what side of the aisle you're on. They don't care about any of that. All they care about is their end goal, instant gratification and whatever you have that they want and the means that they're going to take to take it. So they want to give themselves a tactical advantage on you. That's why they strike at night. That's why they hide in alleyways. That's why they do all the seedy stuff that they do. Now, if they got criminal buddies and they you have something that they want bad enough, don't you think they're going to say, hey, let's go for a good old fashioned robbery, guys. Let's go hit the empty skull ranch. <laughs> you know? So that being said, you know, I'd like to I'd like to think that no matter what side of the aisle you're on, no matter what your political beliefs, your religious, uh, religious beliefs, your uh, any any kind of beliefs, whatever kind of beliefs people have, you know, hey, more power to you. But I'd like to think that if you got a family, you got some people that depend on you, you got kids, you got hell, you know, people that depend on you. And I think that you should be able to provide them with any tactical advantage that you could possibly give. So if you got 10 guys rolling deep on you and they want to do you harm and you got, you got the old six shooter or you got the, uh, the, uh, eight, eight round, uh, magazine, which is, seems to be the hot topic now. And, uh, and made sure that you abided all the laws and that you cut yourself down at the knees so that way you're the most ill-prepared you can possibly be. I don't think they're going to say, hey, wait a second, this guy's following the rules. Let's not go at him that hard. Let's let's amend the way we're doing these things so that he can at least get a chance. No, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. So my view on that, you got one of these guys, you got your semi-automatic rifle and I think you can give it the best chance you've got. And at the end of the day, if that saves you and your family and that you can live to see another day and die by the grace of God when your time comes, not at the hands of some scumbag. So anyway, that's my little, uh, that's my little spiel about that. And of course, you know, all the benefits when you're doing fun time, things like target shooting and stuff like that, you know, you got more rounds at your disposal. You have, Especially if you're trying to sight things in, you're trying to do whatnot. You just, 
You don't have the mag changes in between. And like I said, criminals don't follow the law. They're not gonna say, I'm gonna make sure I rob this bank with eight rounds only. It's uh, no, they're gonna get the stuff. They're gonna, they're gonna have an advantage one way or another. That's what these guys do. So these magazines are just another tool. It's a tool in an honest man's arsenal to make sure that he has any possible advantage that he can gain you know, and at the end of the day, I wish we could all just get along and then realize <laughs> that honest people, law-abiding people, don't kill people. And guns don't get up out of your safe and go do it for you. It's bad people, and we need to realize that bad people do bad things, but we got to give ourselves the best advantage that we can get. All right, guys, I don't want to get too in-depth with that, but like I said, I don't like to inject that kind of stuff into the channel just have a good good old time and do a little bit of shooting and a little bit of smithing and a little bit of tractor and all that got all that other stuff all right guys hope you had a good time i know this wasn't a beefy video like uh hope you took something out of it mission first tactical love what you've been doing so keep it up and keep listening to what your customers have to say hell of a job all right.